The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 10, verses 1 to 9. The Lord appointed 72 others and sent them out ahead of him in pairs to all the towns and places he himself was to visit. He said to them, The harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. Start off now, but remember, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. Carry no purse, no haversack, no sandals. Salute no one on the road. Whatever house you go into, let your words be peace to this house. And if a man of peace lives there, your peace will go and rest on him. If not, it will come back to you. Stay in the same house, taking what food and drink they have to offer. For the laborer deserves his wages. Do not move from house to house. Whenever you go into a town where they make you welcome, eat what is set before you. Cure those in it who are sick and say, The kingdom of God is very near to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, Yesterday we celebrated the feast of the conversion of St. Paul. Today we celebrate the conversion of Timothy and Titus, the memorial. The two who were bishops, there is a remarkable thing to reflect upon them. Paul had in his mind to make them leaders of two different places. Timothy was appointed at Ephesus and Titus at Crete. They were a very good leaders and the epistles which are written to both of these are very pastoral meant for pastors and for the people who live with them. St. Paul relied on them. He instructed them from time to time and asked them to appoint leaders in every town and every village. Under their care, they would take care of the people. Dear brothers and sisters, all of us have leadership by baptism. We are called to do a sincere work of evangelization. It is not only Paul, it is not only Timothy and Titus. We all are given the aspect of faith and to implant it in the innocent people among whom we live. To make known Christ to them who do not know, or some who know but do not know the importance. In the Gospel reading of today, Jesus is sending out 
the 72 before he could launch out. He sends them two by two and instructs them very meticulously with warnings. Do not carry anything burdensome. Do not carry anything that could be scandalous, luxurious. Go like a poor man. Carry no purse, no haversack, no sandals, no spare tunic. The harvest is plentiful, he says, but the laborers are few. So you have a great work to do. Pray to the Lord of the harvest to send more laborers. As you go, bring peace upon the house where you go. If they do not accept peace, it will come back to you or else it will dwell. Do not make fuss about your eating habits. Eat what is set before you. Do not make options or choose families. Live where you go. Take all the treatment that they gave you and cure the people in the house who live there the sick and give them the message he says at the end the kingdom of God is very near to you yes my dear friends this is a basic duty including for Timothy and Titus as they did very faithfully we too are called to do the same let us ask the Lord to use us as the instrument of his peace, instrument of evangelization, giving to the people the true Christ, just as Paul did, just as Timothy did, and just as Titus did. They were a very good shepherd to the sheep presented by the Lord to them through St. Paul. Similarly, we too have the sheep under our care. Are we a good example to them? Do we follow the statutes of a prophet just like the 72 when they went? house to house in pairs? Do we proclaim Christ? Do we baptize people? Do we evangelize His name? Let us ask the Lord to grant us blessings in abundance that we may be faithful in doing the work He has entrusted to us. Amen.